Tesla announces discontinuation of two vehicle colors, and Tesla-owned body shops are open for business. This is Tesla Tidbits episode number 447 for September 12th, 2018. From time to time, I have to deliver bad news to you all, and unfortunately, today is one of those times. We start things off today with Elon letting us know that two color options are being removed from the Tesla lineup. Quote, moving two of seven Tesla colors off menu on Wednesday to simplify manufacturing. Obsidian black and metallic silver will still be available as special requests, but at higher price. End quote. Electrek also obtained an email sent to reservation holders that explained the situation in a bit more detail. The most pertinent part of the update was the time frame and price. Quote, In order to increase our production, delivery, and service efficiency, we will be removing metallic silver and obsidian black metallic as paint options from our online vehicle configurations for Model S, Model X, and Model 3. This will be effective on Thursday, September 13th, 2018, after which metallic silver and obsidian black metallic will be offered only as limited edition colors via special request at a cost of $2,000 only until this Friday, September 21st. End quote. It's odd that they're giving the eight extra days with the higher cost. No idea why that matters. At any rate, if you had your heart set on one of those two colors, now is absolutely the time to get that order locked in. Lastly for this show, Electrek lets us know that the Tesla-owned body shops that were announced a while back have begun to spring into action. Nine locations have begun operation around the U.S., including Bellevue, Washington, Dallas, Texas, Eatonville, Florida, Houston, Texas, Las Vegas, Nevada, Marietta, Georgia, Owings Mills, Maryland, Van Nuys, California, and Villa Park, Illinois. The reason these shops exist is to repair minor damage to vehicles so that the major body shops can be free to handle the more serious work. From the article, quote, If a Tesla body shop is unavailable to repair your vehicle, you will be directed to a third-party body shop in the Tesla-approved body shop network, end quote. But if the shop can handle your vehicle, there's a chance you may get it back the same day as Elon had hoped when announcing the idea. Reddit user EcoBreeze shared their experience of exactly that scenario. So it seems that the intended operation of the shops is working thus far, but we'll keep an eye out to see if they hold up under full load. Check out the links to the full stories in the show description. Also, please consider supporting the show financially through Patreon at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. Thanks, as always, to our super patrons supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dory and Steve Cooperman, Bruno Kundici, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Raymer Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Robert Healy, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, Canada, Morvin Og, Blake Thompson, Raymond and Deborah Malkowitz, T Sport Line, Michael Pastroni, and Travis and Cheyenne Rush. If you're looking to purchase a Model S, Model X, or Model 3 performance, you can enjoy free supercharging for the life of the vehicle and hook me up with some Tesla swag by using the referral link ts.la slash jim5088 to purchase the vehicle. That's ts.la slash jim5088. Sunday is the last day to order and get this benefit, so get on it if you're in the market. If you can't support with dollars, that is quite all right. Feel free to leave a positive review for the show instead. If you have feedback for me, as always, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. I'll see everyone back here again on Friday. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.